KPI Online is a simple and easy to use business intelligence interface through a software as a service model. The benefits of using a software as a service model include low investment, low risk, and low technical resources needed for the project. Through the BIPAM Artist Business Intelligence application, executives will have access to management dashboards and analytical capabilities. An enterprise performance management suite contains three applications. Strategic planning for organizations striving to meet long or short-term strategic goals. Financial planning for those companies managing budgets, performing forecasting, or consolidating financial data. And then finally, a business intelligence application is needed for executives to monitor, analyze, and act upon their business data. KPI Online provides a basic financial model containing a collection of pre-built dashboards for viewing and analyzing revenue, inventory, expenses, accounts receivable, and accounts payable data. For example, in the revenue dashboards, you will find graphs, charts, and tables for monitoring revenue metrics such as gross margin, gross profit, cost of sales, and revenue. Trend graphs have been created to give you an insight on performance for the last several months. Other revenue dashboards include viewing the top 15 customers or the top 15 products based on the amount of revenue. In the top 15 customers dashboard, you will see several views for customer revenue. In the table, you have actual revenue, revenue displayed as a percentage, growth comparison for previous period and previous year, cost of sales, gross profit, gross margin, and average price. All of these metrics are for the top 15 customers. You will also find dimension filters on this dashboard for narrowing the focus of the data results. For example, we are currently viewing this data with no dimension filters in place. By selecting the box to the right of product category, I see a list of all product categories. To filter by a specific item, simply check the box to the left and then click the green check mark. We are now viewing the top 15 customers for computer items. You can continue drilling down by using other dimension filters, such as the all product. By clicking on the box to the right of all product, I see a list of all computer items. If I wanted to narrow the focus of the top 15 customers to just ergonomic keyboards, simply select the box to the left of ergonomic keyboard and click the green check mark. We are now viewing the top 15 customers based on the ergonomic keyboards. To simply go back to viewing all products, use the drop down and select all products. Also in the far right, you will see the time filter. Currently, we are viewing data for August 2009. If I wanted to see data for July 2009, simply select the left caret to go to the previous period. The collection of expense dashboards includes three dashboards for viewing and analyzing expenses. Data can be viewed by expense type or by expense cost center. You will also find a 12-month trend graph for comparing your current actual expenses versus the budgeted expenses. On the left is the expense by type table. You can double click on an expense type such as payroll and it will filter the table in the bottom right. So now you will see payroll by individual cost centers. The second core capability of a business intelligence tool is to allow you to analyze the data. Within the KPI Online basic financial model, you can quickly drill down within your data. By clicking on the appropriate metric and selecting a dimension, such as region, the analysis window will open. You can add additional dimensions and metrics to this analysis by simply expanding the function on the left hand side. I will expand dimensions and I'm going to add sales executive to the analysis on the right. By dragging sales executive and dropping it to the revenue column header, I am creating a cross tab. The analysis now contains the revenue metric being analyzed by region and by sales executive. 
I can continue adding dimensions and metrics by dragging and dropping from the left pane to the right pane. For example, if I wanted to view the data by a certain product category, I can expand product and product category, select computer items, and drag computer items from the left to the right pane. And I'm now seeing the revenue for just computer items. Additionally, I can add additional metrics or key performance indicators to this analysis. Expand indicators, expand revenue, and I can add gross margin by simply dragging gross margin from the left to the right pane. All of the items in the left pane can assist you in creating your analysis. You simply expand the appropriate item and drag and drop the function to the right hand pane. One final example. Let's say you want to view the variation on revenue from the previous period and show this in a bar format. Expand duplicate as, expand variation, and expand bar, and then drag and drop previous period to the revenue column header. In the analysis on the right, you are now seeing the revenue variation from the previous period being displayed in a bar format. Once you have created your analysis, you can save the analysis by selecting the Save As function from the top menu bar. Once saved, you can come back to this analysis at a later time to continue working.